Let's talk about booze. Alcohol, the nectar of happiness for some, for others, not so much. I get asked about alcohol just as often as I get asked about ab exercise. First off, let's get something straight. Alcohol is a poison. When you consume alcohol, your body has to go through a chemical process to rid yourself of that poison. A side effect of this chemical process is intoxication. Chronic heavy use of alcohol can lead to irreversible health conditions. Regardless of the headlines or any of the research you may have seen on the internet, there is no amount of alcohol that is considered good for you. One thing is for certain, chronic use of alcohol after your workouts can hinder your recovery. So if you're in the gym trying to make changes, you may want to cut down on your use of alcohol. The old way I used to coach my clients was ask them if they're going to drink, stick to light beer and lower calorie vodka waters. Or we would purposely modify their meals to account for the extra calories they would consume while they're drinking. One thing I've learned in the past 17 years of coaching is that one drink and all those strategies go out the window. Go figure, a substance that lowers your inhibitions and brings out the inner party animal also modifies your healthy decision making abilities. Instead of coaching you on what to drink, let's dig deeper on why you're drinking in the first place. Here's my litmus test for drinking. Ask these questions. Are you drinking to hide from anxiety, stress, emotion, or pain? Does your drinking impact more than just you, maybe friends, family, coworkers? Does drinking affect your job? Is drinking consistent with your goals? Or are you drinking to celebrate or socialize with others? To simplify it even more, ask this one question. Does drinking add, mask, or take away from your life? You might find what you're looking for by asking these questions. Let me be clear, drinking is not bad. It's okay to celebrate a long work week with some bubbly brew on a Friday afternoon. It's okay to enjoy a few with your friends or family. Sipping on some wine with a great meal? Go for it. It's easy to tell you what to drink and what not to drink. But the truth is, drinking alcohol is much deeper than the calories that you're consuming. Choosing what or what not to drink is only scratching the surface. By recognizing why we're drinking in the first place will bring us closer to the self-control that we are searching for.